Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I'm going to show how you can run Windows 7 Superlight version in Android using Limbo PC emulator. So let's get into the video. So to run Windows 7 in your Android, you need an application called Limbo PC emulator. So basically, Limbo is a PC emulator an application an android application which we can download and install in android phone so there are a lot of videos on my channel that i have shown how you can run windows 7 all the windows 7 videos have different different versions of the windows 7 like windows 7 lite delta version the faster windows 7 the windows 7 which can support it internet the windows 7 which can uh, open any software capabilities to open any software so there are a lot of videos on my channel so you can check out my or all, all other older videos so in this video so this is the another video which i'm going in this video i'm going to show how you can run windows 7 the another version so the basically this is the super light version and in this video i'm going to show you the how you can run that windows 7 super light version in your android will using a limbo pc emulator application so basically first of all you need to download an application called limbo pc emulator uh, let me just uh, give a quick overview for first time viewer to this video to my channel so basically limbo pc emulator is an application windows emulator application you don't need to do anything extra uh, anyone can do this just you need to the download link the description you can open that and one more announcement i have to make uh, in this video that i have shifted all the download links to telegram so make sure you downloaded the telegram application because uh, youtube not allowing any external link providing in the description so sorry for that i cannot provide download link in the description so indirectly i'm providing the link in the telegram so i'm providing the telegram link in the description so you can open the telegram through my uh, description link from there you can get the access of the all the download links of the application and any other things so as i said limbo pc emulator application downloading in the description so from the link which i have mentioned in the description from through through that link you get into the telegram channel from telegram channel you get the link of this application the limbo pc emulator x86 so this application is very easy just download it and install in your android after installing it will look like this you have to open this and it, it's uh, first time it will look a little bit compli complicated but after using for a while you can uh, understand easily what to do what to not and how to uh, run any sort p uh, any windows i also file in your android so basically this application is do uh, you can run any uh os os means operating system you can do uh, you can open any operating system in your android and you can use it like an pc so the main thing to do with the application is to run any windows or any uh, linux which i have shown in my previous video so in this video i'm going to show how you can run windows 7 in your android so after downloading application you need to if you want to uh, run windows 7 super light version which i'm going to show in this video the downloading also provided in the description you can open from there and get into the my telegram channel from there you get the windows 7 link so i have already downloaded it will be approx uh, 300 mb it will be in the rar file you have to extract it after extracting it will get into the uh, vhd file and it will be approx 38 mb so make sure you have enough storage in your android and as you can see after extracting it will be in a vhd file so we can easily open so make sure to ext extract it so now i'm going to open the limbo pc emulator after downloading both the things and installing the limbo pc emulator application you have to open, open the limbo pc emulator application now here you have to click on the none you have to click on the new so if you want to run windows 7 so you have to follow the every uh, single detail procedure uh, which i am going to show in this video so here you have to create a machine i am going you have to uh, give this machine name windows 7 super light so i have given the machine name windows 7 super light so i have created the machine now here you have to click on the custom at last so you have to get into the uh, user interface you have you don't need to do anything you just make sure this is as it is sdl english keyboard the ps2 now you have to get into the board here you have to make some changes to run windows 7 so first of all you have to select the cpu model i always select code studio for the windows 
so let me just select the code video so i've selected code video because i have always select uh, code video software uh, which is by intel so windows 7 or for any other windows i always select code video software so it will best suitable if you can if you want to change you can change there are a lot of cpu models available over here so now here you have to select the cpu cores i'm going to select four which is suitable for the this windows 7 here uh, ram i'm going to select 1 gb 1 gb is more than enough for the windows 7 to run so i have selected 1000 mb ram now here you have to select the mtt cg and you have to uncheck the disable tsc so you have to check to the enable mtt cg and you have to uncheck the disable tsc so this is the setting you have to do in the board now you have to get into the disk you have to select the hard disk a you have to click on the none you have to click on the open you have to follow the, all the procedure which i am showing here now you have to locate where we have downloaded uh, and extracted the windows file so here you have i have to download and extract it so this is the you have to make sure you have to select the windows 7 vhd file not rar file rar file not rar file you have to select the vhd file so you have to select that vhd file now we have done with the uh, disk you have to get into the boot and you have to select the boot from hard disk and all the way you have to scroll down and check network you have to select the user audio if you want to get the audio you can select uh, which is suitable i'm going to select all so from all of them one will be going to work so i'm going to select the all so i have done all the settings uh, in the limo pc emulator so let me just uh, turn on the screen rotation and turn my android phone so i have turned my android phone so you can get the better view for better understanding so let me just set up the camera so i have done all the settings so make sure you have to do all the settings if this settings is not going to work then you can ch change the setting or according to your smartphone you can increase or decrease the ram you can change the cpu model and so now uh, i'm going to just click on the play button after clicking play button as soon as it will going to say booting from hard disk so it means the windows 7 has been successfully supported by this limo pc emulator application and windows 7 going to boot in my android phone so it will going to take some time for the boot As you can see in the screen it will saying microsoft corporation so it, this is the boot screen uh, if you're thinking this is the windows xp uh, boot screen but uh, let me just clear you the windows 7 is opening in the safe mode if you know about the pc you can understand that uh, if you open windows 7 in the uh, safe mode it will seem similarly look like windows xp so this windows 7 is opening up uh, in the safe mode so that's why it's looking like this but this is the windows 7 super light version for some reasons it will opening in the safe mode so let me just uh, show you so the mouse cursor has been appeared in the screen and it means the desktop is uh, loading up uh, in this android phone in this application so as you can see the limbo uh, pc emulator is running over here and this is the application from here you can uh, pause vm reset shutdown disconnect uh, you can do and you can also check the uh, logs so this is how it's going to process so let me just click to and as you can see this is the windows 7 uh, boot screen and that is the desktop is opening up here as you can see finally the windows 7 has been successfully booted in my android phone so let me just click uh back so i can get the full screen so as you can see this is the desktop of this uh, uh, windows 7 and the language is in russian but uh, i already said you can change the language there is a procedure different procedure so the soon video coming up uh, on my channel so if you want a video let me know in the comments i i make a video on how you can change the language of any windows so you have to download the language and you have to select from that so there is a long process for that you need a video on it so i'm soon i'm going to make it if you need so as you can see this is the desktop of the windows 7 a super light version while pressing volume down button you can get the more option of the desktop while uh, using touch screen you can uh, move the cursor like this uh, so as you can see uh, the desktop is uh, still loading just now click to fresh uh, refresh button 
if you know how to use windows you can understand by uh, seeing that so as you can see so as you can see there is a lot of preloaded software uh, in this windows 7 so i am going to open it one by one to, to show you the uh, windows 7 is perfectly working or not so the drivers has been successfully synced to with this windows 7 so let me just going to open the first application as provided here so there are some preloaded uh, uh, softwares with this windows 7 so here some software is included like winrar la like music total commander winamp so the total commander winrar and winamp all this application i have shown how you can run that application in android while using executor emulator application so that is the different uh, another category uh, in my channel that i have um, i've show uh, then how you can run any pc software in your android while using emulators so all this application i've already shown but in this video uh, this windows 7 have included this preloaded software so let me just quickly open the software to show you whether it's working or not we'll double tapping on the software it will going to open the software as you can see the software is perfectly open app here so this is the window application basically used to uh, extract anything so this application is working perfectly so it means the software uh, installing and opening process is perfectly working in the super windows 7 so soon i'm going to show how you can install any other software apart from this so let me know in the comments i'm trying to make a video on it and and show you so as you can see the total commander software i have been opening here so as you can see the application has been opened as you can see this is the total commander software so basically this is pc software has been opened here as i mentioned earlier i am going to make a video on how you can uh, access all the internal files of your android and how you can uh, install any other software which you like to install in this windows uh, some of the people don't have pc but they want to run this pc software in android but while using this emulator uh, you can access all the pc software and you can do all your work the windows is supported by the uh, internet so you can access internet and you can do a lot of things like a real pc so as you can see the win application is open also open the the windows 7 is uh, open up open in the super so this windows 7 open up in the safe version so that's why it's looking like the windows xp so this is the windows 7 super light version has been successfully or uh, running in android while using uh limbo pc emulator application so for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you have a question or problem let me know in the comments thank you